Today we will enroll a new Engage Gateway using RSI mode, RS45 communication into your access control system. You connect the access control panel to the gateway using either two or four wire RS45 connections. Consult the Software Alliance provider on gateway configurations and approved network grade RS45 cabling. The gateway has RS45 communication status with two LED indicators located near the RS45 port. The green LED will flash when the gateway detects RS45 traffic. The red LED will flash when the gateway is transmitting data back to the access control panel. See your access control software documentation for more information. The RSI RS485 ID address configuration and gateway high and low ID boundaries need to be provided in advance by the site IT or access control group or your software alliance partner. The gateway can be powered by the wall adapter that came with it, a separate filtered and regulated 12 or 24 volt DC power supply, or supplied as part of the hardwired Ethernet connection using Power over Ethernet (PoE) configured as class 0 full 15.4 watts power but will only supply power in RSI mode It will not communicate on the Ethernet cable. Before starting, make sure you have a good descriptive name to assign to the gateway, such as a hallway location or room it is assigned to, not just a next in series number. A descriptive name will make finding the gateway easier physically for later activities, such as firmware updates or linking locks and getting access control reports that are easier to read. Log into your Alliance Partner Engage account, phone, or tablet app. Engage is used to enroll and manage the gateway at an initial low level. The Alliance Partner software takes the Engage server device's information to enroll the gateway and locks into their software and manages all the access control from their software. After logging into your Engage account, select Devices on bottom left, then tap Plus at the top right, Select the type of device we're adding to the account today, tap the gateway icon, then the app searches for any new gateway advertising on Bluetooth. Our gateway has a red LED showing that it is new or has been factory default reset and is available to commission into the account. Once this gateway has been found, the app shows its serial number that you can compare to its production label at the bottom of the gateway. Tap on the gateway. Check and see if the light is blinking on the device. You can see that it's blinking blue at this point. Tap yes at the top right. Now you enter the assigned gateway name. and tap next on the top right. Then select the mode of enrollment we are setting up on the gateway, in this case RSI mode. Then you select the RS45 ID address that's been assigned. In this case we're going to assign 1 and done. And then confirm the RS45 high and low ID boundaries so that each ID is unique for the access control panel assignment for each lock that will be linked without adding extra IDs on the gateway causing potential overlap with other device IDs configured and assigned to that controller. So in this case we're going to assign low door 5, high door 10. Once you've made your assignments and confirmed them, click next at the top right. Once all these options have been entered, the gateway is configured and saved and is preparing the device. You'll see a green check mark and then you can tap finish. The gateway will now show that it's available and you can use it to check settings and configuration as well as to start enrolling new locks.
Once logged into that gateway, you can check the host properties and what we just configured. You can check the advanced, see the firmware version, see the date, serial number, things of this nature. For more Engage product resources, go to allegionengage.com. For additional technical support, call 877-671-7011, option 2.